If you're enrolled in Medicare Supplement Plan F, you might be wondering if there's some better options out there for you that could save you a little bit of money. So today, I'm going to do a plan comparison between Plan G and Plan F. We're going to talk about both the benefits as well as how much you can save in premium if you switch to Plan G. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jamie Banner, and I'm the founder of Medicare by Jamie. I'm a licensed insurance agent that works specifically with people enrolling into Medicare, and today I'm going to do a plan comparison for you between Plan G and Plan F. We're going to see which one is a better option. Before we get started, if you find the information in this video helpful, I'd appreciate if you give a thumbs up and subscribe, leave a comment down below, and now we can get right into it. So we're going to talk about Plan G versus Plan F. And it feels a lot like a boxing match. You know, you got people with Plan F telling you, I've got the best plan. People with Plan G telling you, no, I've got the best plan. It's kind of back and forth, back and forth, like watching a boxing match. So as you can see, got my stripes on. I'm going to referee this match. We're going to do an unbiased comparison to see which plan is going to be the best option, both coverage-wise and also what's going to be more cost-effective for you because that's really important. So we'll start with just breaking down the coverage level by level. The first thing is your Part A coinsurance. Plan F has you with 100%. Plan G also has you with 100%. So we're starting off good. Next is your Part A deductible. Again, Plan F 100%. Plan G also 100%. Part B coinsurance. Plan F 100%. Plan G 100%. What about our Part B annual deductible? Plan F is 100%. Plan G does not cover your Part B deductible, so there is one difference in coverage. What about our Part B excess charges? Plan F is 100%. Plan G is 100%. Foreign travel emergency, they're both at 80%. Skilled nursing facility coverage, both 100%. And your yearly out-of-pocket max is both 100% because it's covered under both. So as we can see, The only difference between Plan F and Plan G is that $198 Part B annual deductible. And that is it. That's the only difference. Once you pay that off in Plan G, your Plan G becomes a Plan F. So can this difference, this deductible, really justify the difference in premium between these two plans? And that's where we're going to take a look at a premium comparison. Now, if you're getting into Medicare and you need help with a Medicare supplement plan, that's what I do. I assist people in finding the best Medicare supplement plan for you that's going to be what you need for you individually as well as what's going to be the best cost-effective plan for you. So if you have any questions, you give me a call. My number is 833-65-JAMIE. You can also visit my website, medicarebyjamie.com. So let's do our first premium comparison. We've got a 65-year-old female in Detroit, Michigan. So when we look at the plan F, the monthly premium is $135.09, which comes out to be $1,621.08 annually. We find a plan G. The monthly premium is $107.95, which comes out to $1,295.40 annually. So if we take those two annual numbers and we get the difference, we're looking at $325.68. And don't forget, your Part B annual deductible is $198. So that Part B annual deductible is the only difference between these two plans. But as you can see, the difference you're going to pay in premium for the year is $325.68. So now we're paying an additional $127.68. Once that Part B deductible is paid off, our difference is still $127.68. We're paying that extra money in premium for no difference in plan. This plan G has now become the same exact plan. And we're paying more money just to have the plan F name. I can't really think of any other reason other than to have the name plan F because you're not getting a difference in your coverage level. Let's do another one. We've got a 65-year-old male in Aurora, Colorado. So plan F we found was for $171 monthly which annually is $2,052. Now, Plan G we found for $124.72 monthly, which breaks down to $1,496.64 annually. 
So the annual difference between these plans, drum roll, is $555.36. Again, your Part B deductible is $198. So once you've paid that off, your difference in premium is still $357.36. I mean, I think it just speaks for itself. I can't justify spending over $350 just to have the letter F on my plan because at this point there's no difference. It's just kind of spending money for the sake of spending money. And to me, there's much better places that money can go to. Go to your Part D premiums, go to having a night out on the town. You could use that for so many other things that it's hard to justify spending it on additional premium when you're getting the same benefits once that deductible's paid off. So in terms of the boxing match, I'm going to have to give it to Plan G. Plan G is coming out as being more cost effective with, again, the only difference that's deductible. You can save a lot of money in premiums switching from your Plan F to a Plan G. And again, I can help you with that. All you have to do is give me a call. My number is 833-65-JAMIE or you can visit my website, medicarebyjamie.com. You can also email me at jamie at medicarebyjamie.com. I hope you found the information in this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Got a movie quote hidden in there somewhere. If you can tell me the movie, put it in the comments. Stay tuned. I'm going to give you a tour of my website, show you where you can request a free Medicare supplement plan quote, and also all the free resources I have for you. And they're all free, so use them, take them, do whatever you need with them. They're going to help you on this fun Medicare journey you're entering. Again, I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Jamie Banner, the founder of Medicare by Jamie. I'm gonna give you a quick run through of my website so you can easily navigate and find all the important links and information I provided for you. So when we get started, we're gonna be right on the homepage and the first thing you can see is you can request a Medicare supplement plan quote. And that's what I do. I assist people in finding the best Medicare supplement plan options for them. So if you go ahead and put your zip code in there and a couple other basic pieces of information, I can get you the best supplement plan quote in your area. Once we get away from there and we go up to the top, we can see the resource center. So if we click on the resource center, we've got a couple options under there. The first one's gonna be video library. So when we click there, it's gonna take you to a page that shows you all of my YouTube videos. So all my videos will be on there along with their titles. So you can easily kind of search through them and see what video you're looking for based on your current needs. There's also a button up there that says subscribe to YouTube. So that will take you straight to my YouTube channel where you can subscribe, comment, do whatever you need and find all the videos you need. When we go back to the resource center, the next link is gonna say important links. And that's gonna be a ton of different hyperlinks that give a lot of information like finding doctors that take Medicare, maybe filing a claim if you had something, lots of different things that can take you out to show you things you can do for Medicare. And the last section is gonna be guides and forms. Now this one is really important. I've listed a ton of forms that are gonna be very important for Medicare. Stuff like employer coverage forms if you're still working past 65, IRMA appeal forms, maybe if you need to check your Part B premium based on your income. I have all of that here, plus a lot of different informative PDFs that's gonna give you as much information as you need in Medicare, because that's what we want. We want you to be completely educated on everything Medicare related so you can make the best and most informed decision. I've also got it up here where everything is divided into categories. So if you need to find something a little bit faster, just click one of these categories and it's gonna narrow it down to things involved in that section. Again, if you have any questions, you can always call me. My number is 833-65-JAMIE. You can also email me at jamie at medicarebyjamie.com or you can go to the website and hit the contact us button and you can send me a little information. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.